Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to JT Budgets. Um, I am here today to show you a brand new budget workbook um, that I have purchased from Gemma at Balancing the Budget. Um, now, you all probably know that I use Natalie's um, from the Rainbow Budgets Planner and I absolutely adore it. It's just not working for me because it's a monthly budget and I budget weekly. So um, I'm, I would, I'm just finding myself being really overwhelmed trying to work everything out on a weekly basis from a monthly worksheet, basically. Um, so um, when Gemma bought this out, I was just like, tick box, tick box, tick box. And I was like, oh my God, this one might actually be pretty perfect. Um, I love the fact that the binder on the side, look, you can undo it. So if you make any mistakes, you can take the sheets out, um, and you can add to it as well. Um, so this is currently on her Etsy shop. Um, it's 29.99 and, um, you get six months worth of budget sheets. Um, and then she's selling the monthly budget sheets for extra months for four pounds so um it's super super value um and so let's get into it so the first page is your 2023 calendar um now what i've done here is i have highlighted um where my months are going to begin and where they're going to end um so like for april for instance i'm going to start this off on the 28th of march and it's going to be a five week month may will be a four week june will be a five week and then september and december will be five weeks and then the rest will be four weeks so i haven't filled everything out yet um i've literally just done april's budget in it but um there's a section for your goals um, the budget categories and what your fixed expenses are. Um, there's a penny savings challenge here. So I've transferred all of um, my data from the penny savings challenge in my Rainbow Budgets notebook into this one. Um, this one only goes up to £3.44 instead of £3.65 and it's got £6 bonus. So this one saves £600 instead of £6.70. But that's absolutely fine because I don't even know what I'm going to do with the money yet. So um, £600 is perfectly fine. And then it goes into your month. So this will be for April and it's from the 28th of March to the 1st of May. Um, and here is my monthly overview. Um, so Fridays we have personal training sessions. Um, Tuesday will be my cash stuffing videos. And then in here, we've got half term. So um, I'm away on holiday from the 31st of March to the 4th of April. And then when I get back, then it is um, Easter holidays from school. So I've got some days planned planned out in here um, that we are going to meet friends for, basically. Um, so, yeah, so we've got... A meeting with the Caldwell, Caldwell Children's Centre on Zoom on Friday the 14th. Um, that's just to give a little bit of history about um, Daisy's behaviour and things. I've got B12 appointment on Tuesday the 11th. Then we're going up to um, Newcastle towards the end of April for Daisy's assessment. Um, and the weeks that I will be budgeting for in April is 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. And what I really like about this planner actually is this bit here. So if I turn this around and show you, I know in week 13, I need £525 in cash. 340, second week, 835, the third week, 510, 355. So I, I know at a glance how much I need. Oh, sorry. So I, re I really, really like that. Um, so it's for April 2023 from March the 28th to the 1st of May. The number of days will be 35 days. The number of weeks is five weeks. The week numbers that I will be 
um, using for this budget is 13 to 17 and there's five weekends in this budget. So then you go on to a full monthly budget, like a draft copy. Um, and because we get some money on a weekly basis, we get some money on full weekly and then um, some monthly. I really like this idea of um, breaking down what money you'll be getting in week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and then totaling them all up. Um, so I've done that and then what my bills will be. Um, so TV license comes out on the first, it's £14. Car insurance is 30 Sky Mobile is 18 Council tax is 192 Now I Now, we haven't had our bill yet for April, so that was how much it was last year. That may well be different, um, but I'm hoping not by too much. Netflix is 16 A family loan is £100. Travel insurance, £18.50. Bank fee, £5. Water, 70 Better, which is gym memberships, £23. I laugh whenever I write this one. So payment assist. I haven't got enough room for the ist bit. So it just, it. I just write it as payment ass. Um, so payment assist is £100. Um, there's only a few months left of that to pay, which is good. Um, rent is 875 My car finance is 187 BT, now that includes TV, um, the quickest broadband, um, all the all the sports channels and stuff. That's hundred pounds. Pet plan for our dog is fifty, and then the rest of these are like subscriptions. So Disney Plus, Google, CapCut, um, Gadget Insurance, and then Apple Other. That is like for storage and things. I need to see if I can get this down. I said this last last month, but um, I need to see if they do like a family storage. And then I've got some old debts I am paying back um, and then a £57 buffer. So our fixed expenses, I fix that £2,000. So if it's below, that's great because I know there's there's a little bit of a buffer there. If any of them come in a little, a little bit more expensive, then that's fine because, again, I've got the buffer. And then the cash expenses I have put in over here. Um, so you just break them down over your five weeks. Um, so for, for us, we get £120 a week food. Um, I was going to see if I could increase that. Maybe I'll give it, give it one more month at £120. Um, diesel is £30 a week. Now week four and week five is, is a little bit changed around because um, we're actually away. So we'll need more money for fuel, less money for food. Um, electrics, always £50 a week. My spending money is £20 a week, miscellaneous gets £5 a week and the children get £10 a week. Um, yeah, so in total, our cash expenses for our cash envelopes for the five week month will be £1,175. And then sinking funds, what I have done is I have split them. So these are my short term variable sinking funds and then these are our long term ones. Um, and it's a five week month, remember. So home will get £75, gifts will get 40 clothes will get 100 family fun will get 100 airsoft will get 60 school activities 15 beauty of 30 takeaway 50 family health 20 date night 30 occasions 30 and we'll put £150 into the Newcastle Fund, which brings it up to 685 Annually... Um, we're going to put £250 into the annual binder, so that's £50 a week. School holidays will get £150. The iris binder will get £370, so that's the holiday spending money. Um, the monthly challenge will get £50 and I'll put £100 into emergency. The, so this will be the first month that we've managed to put anything into emergency, which is amazing. And then that's £920. So basically we have... Um, £4,780 going out, £4,750 roughly coming in, but we want to get some um, side hustle money. So it will all, all be okay. So then the expense trackers here. So I'm going to have one for my bank account and then I'm going to do one for the cash account. 
and then there's a couple of extra spare. And then this is the bit that I really, really, really like is that you get five weeks worth of budget trackers, budget bill trackers. And it means that I can then take all that information from my full monthly budget and put it into my weekly plan. And then what I've also done is I have popped a post-it note on each week saying how much I need that week and what denominations I need and when I'm going to film. So for week 13, which is going to be the first week of our April budget, so from the 28th of March to the 4th of April, Keith will give me his contribution to the household, which is 1,400, and I will get my carer's allowance of 69 pounds 70. And then the bills that go out that week will be TV license, car insurance, Sky Mobile, council tax, better, Netflix, family loan, travel insurance, bank fee, cap cut and water. And that equates to £494.50 that will leave us with 97520. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Have a drink a minute. Um, and then our variable expenses, so our, our cash envelopes, will be food is 120, diesel's 30, electric 50, 20 pounds for personal spending money for me, five pounds for miscellaneous and five pounds each for the children, which should be 10 pounds. And then I've just put in another line in here um, in case we bring in any sinking funds. Um, and then if we do, then I'll put up here savings used and put in the actual number that we that we use. Um, but the weekly variable expenses will be £235 and that leaves us with £740.20. And, and then this week, what I will be doing is I will be stuffing some sinking funds. So home will get the full £75 and that's for the entire month. Gifts will be £10. Clothes will get 20, occasions will get 5, family fun will get 20, airsoft will get 30, takeaway will get 25, family health will get 5 and date night will get 10 and that is a total of £200 and that leaves us with £540.20. Um, the annual binder um, where I'm saving up for at the moment will be car insurance so um, that will still still be car insurance for this week we'll get 50 and then school holidays will get 100 and I'll put 20 pounds into the um, save the year monthly challenge 20 pounds and oh dear it was all going so well that's 170 pounds into the long-term binder it says extra payments here but for me that 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 line doesn't work it it's better if i could have long-term sinking funds or something on there but still um so that's 370 pounds and 20 pence that will be rolled over to week two of the budget but it's actually week 14 in the year um, so 37020 will be the rollover and the carer's allowance um, is 7667. So um, because of the benefits increase, um, there is a, a slight increase in the carer's allowance then. Um, the variable expenses are the same. Um, so 235. And then the sinking funds, what we will be saving will be gifts £10, clothes 20, family fund 20, school activities 5. Beauty will get 10, health will get 5, date night will get 10, and occasions will get 5. There's only £85 being stuffed into sinking funds this week because we don't get very much coming in. But that's fine. Um, £126.87. That will leave us with, sorry, £126.87. And then we'll put £50 into the annual binder like we do absolutely every single week so that we can we can try and fully fund some of the annual bills that we spend um, and £50 for the school holidays because it's the Easter half term at then and that will only leave us with 26 87 which isn't a lot for a buffer that week but that is okay there's a budget and there's money there to be spent if we need to need to spend it so um 
So this is where we get the majority of our money. Um, so there'll be 26.87 in the rollover, 76.67 for carer's allowance. Universal credit is £1,364. That might go up um, because of the benefits increase and also because I'm adding childcare in there now. So because Daisy's not at school on a Tuesday and Thursday, we're using an Ofsted, um, Ofsted approved tutor so we can get some of that back. Um, disability living allowance for both of the children is 893.75. Um, so that in total is 2,361 pounds and 29 pence. And it's pretty much all going out. Um, so rent is 875 to pay, car is 187, BT is 100, pet plan is 50 and payment assist will be 100. Um, they have all been rounded up so there may well be you know, a few pounds um, less than that. But the total amount of fixed expenses in week 15 is £1,312 and that leaves me with £1,049.29. Again, variable expenses all the same, so it's two hundred and thirty-five pounds across the weekly, um, the weekly envelopes, and the sinking funds will be ten pounds for gifts, twenty pound for clothes, twenty pound for family fund, thirty for airsoft, five pounds each for school and family health, ten pounds for beauty, twenty-five pounds for takeaway, ten pounds for date night, and five pounds for occasions. So that brings the total for sinking funds this week to £140, leaving £67429. Um, annual binder will get £50. The iris binder will get £370. Um, that won't be on a, on a monthly basis. It's just because we're saving up um, for spending money for a holiday. £20 into the monthly um challenge and a hundred pounds for emergency fund like i said um a minute ago that's the first time that we've been able to save some money for our emergency fund so um, i'm really excited to do that so that brings the long-term slash annual sinking funds total to 540 pounds um and that leaves us with 134.29 Now the fourth week into April's budget, which is week 16, the income will be the rollover from the week before, which is 134.29, carer's allowance is 76.67, PIP, which is 555 pounds 50 pence, I think. I don't actually know how much it is. But it's rough, roughly that. And then child benefit with the benefit increase will go up to £159.50 for two children. So that will be £925.96. Um, fixed expenses. I am expecting Lau to come out at £65. I think there is a little bit of... Um, like subscriptions here, maybe Apple or something for like 79p or £2.49. I'm not I'm not sure when those come out because they just don't have a set date. I don't know whether it's for weekly or something. Should look at that more more um in cl more closely. But um if it does, it's okay because we've we've got a little bit of um leeway there. So food for this week, I'm only budgeting £70 because we're actually away for some of the week. Um we're in Newcastle. So diesel will get more because of the travelling. Electric spends, misc and kids will get all the same. Um, the sinking funds that I will stuff this week will be um, a smaller amount. So clothes will still get 20. Family fun will get 20. School activities, family health and occasions will all get five. And £10 will go into beauty. So that will be £65 for sinking funds. And that will leave us with £560.96p. And then the long term um, sinking funds will get £50 for annual, £10 for the monthly challenge and £150 towards going to Newcastle. And then the last week is here. 
Um, now, I always do a zero-based budget, so um, whatever I have, I will try and allocate somewhere. Um, so the budgeted plan for week 17, which is the last week of um, April's budgets, so that goes from the 25th of April to the 1st of May, will be rollover from the week before, which is £350.96p. And the carer's allowance, 76.67. Now, my husband does get paid actually on the 28th of um, April as well. But I'm not going to include that in here because that will be for May's budget. So, sorry, the, the total income for week 17 is £427.63. And then the fixed expenses, which I don't know whether they come out this week or the previous week. But will be Disney Plus at seven ninety nine, Google at two pounds fifty, CapCut at seven ninety nine, Apple Insurance and Apple Storage and Roblox um, subscriptions for the children. So it's sixty eight pounds and forty eight pence, and that will leave us with three hundred fifty nine fifteen. Um, total expenses is two three five for the variable expenses. So again. The, the same as the previous week, because we're in Newcastle for part of the week, I've just kind of cut the cut the food budget. So that's £70. Diesel gets more money at 80 electric 50 and then spends 20 MISC 5 and the children will get £5 each. And then the only sinking funds we will be stuffing for this week will be gifts will get £10, Clothes will get 20 and family fund will get 20 and that will leave us with £74.15. Annual will get the £50 it does every week and um, definitely by the end of April, school holiday, uh, not school holidays, sorry, the car insurance will be fully funded. Um, and I'm really excited because then I'll get to use a placeholder. Um, I will put £20 back into the 52 week challenge and then there are hopefully there will be four pounds and 15 to go into the penny challenge and that takes us to a zero based budget so i love love this book now what you also get oh i'm just going to put these back on a minute so that i don't lose them the time it took me to work out how much I needed in the denominations it's actually quite a long time so once you've done your budget bill tracker you've then got um, a couple of more trackers so a monthly debt tracker um, which you can use that if you're paying your normal debts and then any extra payments um and then you can work out like percentages and stuff and then this is the one that i'm really excited to use is the sinking funds balance tracker so um at the end of march i'm going to count up everything that i've got in my binders and then i can do the same at the april in april and then i can see how much is in them and if we've made any progress basically so that's the sinking funds and then you've got the monthly close out where you can work out how much you've spent on on food in week one week two week three week four week five and then a total amount and then you can work out then how much of your income you have spent on food or diesel or personal spending money lots of lots of your different budget categories um but in order to do that then you need to track what you're spending and fill in the weekly checkout sheet basically and then there's a couple of pages for your notes and then you go into the next month so um i absolutely love love this planner um but if you're like a monthly budgeter then the rainbow budgets planner is equally equally as wonderful um it just didn't work for me unfortunately because it was a monthly a monthly planner so but that's it that is my april budget um i really want to have as low spend as we, i can in april um sorry that's my cat just scratching to go out betsy 
Um, so as low spend as we can in April, um, because we've got the trip to Newcastle and then we're then going on, on holiday in the May. Um, so if we can really, really stick to this budget or even less than this budget, then that would be just the best. Oh, don't scratch me, pop it. Betsy, get your claws out in even don't get them out no no not coming up um so yeah so that's our plan um if you would like to follow me on this journey and um see if i can stick to the plan then feel free to press the um or click the subscribe button um like this <laughs> sorry my cat is trying to come up come on then do you want to come up Oh, she's jumped. There we go. Um, so subscribe to my channel. And there you go. Look, can you see a bit of a ginger tail? Yes. Um, and you can follow us on our journey. Um, it's always quite a rocky one. Um, we're definitely not a linear line when it comes to comes to budgeting. We've always there's always something that comes up and throws us a curveball, but we we do our best and we try and stay within our budget without getting into any more debt so I mean if it means that we have to you know borrow from a different um a different pot then you know that's what we that's what we'll do um but yeah please come and follow us on our journey press the subscribe button like the video and um pop a little comment in about what you think and what your goals are going to be for April um it was lovely chatting to you can you see Betsy there you go look hi Betsy can you see her hang on let's see if I can move this there you go there's my pr pretty pussy cat <laughs> um but yeah thanks guys for watching and um I will see you on my first cash stuffing slash check-in um for April so have a lovely week guys Lots of love. Bye.